Okay, this is a brief video to cover uh, the electrical components and operations and battery maintenance, maintenance excuse me, of your new boat. Um, after your boat arrives, place your uh, battery in the front compartment and in that compartment you'll see a hole at the bottom and that hole is designed to drain rainwater uh, primarily out of the boat so when you take the boat out of the water the uh, rainwater will drain out of that hole. It's okay for the battery to sit in the water while the boat is in the lake um, so you don't have to worry about it shorting out or anything. Uh, connect all the black wires to the negative terminal and all of the red wires to the positive terminal of the battery. After connecting all wires, plug in the battery charger, which is the yellow item here, to a 110 volt socket until the ready light comes on and that indicator light is at the top of the, of the unit here. The battery is now fully charged. You may leave the charger plugged in after the battery is fully charged. Um, as it has a built-in shutoff. However, we recommend unplugging after the battery is fully charged. Um, by not completely draining the battery and recharging after every use, you'll extend the life of your battery. Um, at the end of the season, disconnect the battery and store it in a cool, dry place above freezing. Be sure to trickle charge at two amps at least once a month to extend the life. At 2 amps, the battery can take up to 10 hours to fully charge. Um, the control module, which is the black box in the front compartment, is located here. And then the other item that you'll need to know about is the circuit breaker. Be sure the black lever is in the up position. To test this, push the red button here and then push the black lever up to reset until you hear it click. That will reset the circuit breaker. Uh, you're now ready to go on the water so um, turn the key to the on position and you can leave it in the on position until you're done using the electric motor. Uh, the motor won't engage until you turn the knob on the variable speed controller. Be sure to turn the key to the off position before removing the boat from the water to prevent possible accident with a rotating propeller. Uh, the amount of time you'll get from your battery will depend on a number of factors, but with a new battery it should range from about one hour on high speed to one and a half to two hours on low speed. Uh, these times are estimates only based on our field test. You may want to consider carrying an extra battery for those long trips. Hope this video was helpful and enjoy your time in the water.